close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to be solidly with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Don't go flitting around thinking about this, that, and the other thing. Each time the breath comes in, you want to be right here and want to stay with it right here. Think of your awareness as just settling in and sitting right here. This quality of solidity actually relates to several aspects of the path. The word for virtue in Bali, sila, is very close to the word for rock, which is sela. And the same, it's the same with your virtues. Once you make up your mind you're going to follow a precept, you follow it solidly. You don't start making excuses for this, that. As the Buddha said, a loss of your virtue is much more serious than loss of wealth, even loss of your relatives, loss of your health. Because those things don't drag you down as much as a loss of virtue does. A loss of virtue makes, you know, in this lifetime, it makes life more and more difficult. And then when you go and get reborn in line with your actions, which are not virtuous, you, you get into a lot of trouble. One of the chants we have is, may I look after myself with ease. Well, people who are not virtuous are not going to look after themselves with ease. They're, they're going to have this problem, that problem. If they kill, then there's lots of short lives and lots of illnesses. Steal, that your things get taken away from you. Have illicit sex, you have problems in your marriage. You lie, then you never get to hear the truth. These things, these actions come back at you. So you make sure, want to make sure that the actions you're broadcasting in the world are things that you'd like to have come back to you. Otherwise, you find yourself having a lot of trouble just taking care of yourself. Last night I saw a squirrel. It was crippled. It was trying to struggle across the road, and I came to see what was wrong with it. And of course, it was struggling all the more to get away from me. You realize there's somebody I couldn't help. And it's really sad to see that. And no one to help the squirrel, and the squirrel's not ready to help receive help from anybody. And that comes from a lack of virtue someplace in the background. It's hard enough being a squirrel, but it's even harder when you're crippled. So when you think about the results of your actions, you want to make sure you don't do anything that's going to put you in a position where you have trouble looking after yourself with ease. A virtue is both a matter of the precepts and also a matter of your manners. In other words, the things that you make a vow that you're not going to do, and in terms of your manners, the things that you do try to develop within yourself. The manners of living together well with the community, being helpful to the community, sharing the burdens of the community so that everybody feels that, being in, that we're all in this together. That's a part of virtue as well. So look at both the things that are prohibited and also the things that are encouraged in a virtuous life, the ways you help other people. Simply by doing your duties around the community, in your family, in your work, in society. This way we live together and there's a sense, okay, we're helping one another along. And that gives a solidity to our lives. You want to make sure that with the precepts you, you don't make any exceptions at all. No killing, period. And that means you're going to have to start thinking about well, what about those termites in the house? What about the ants? How are you going to deal with those? There are ways of dealing with them without killing them. All too often we think if somebody's troublesome, you just kill them. But if you make up your mind you're not going to do that anymore, can you've got to figure out how do you deal with difficult situations and still not break the precepts. And that develops your discernment. So it's in this way that virtue, concentration, and discernment all come together. This quality of solidity of the mind trains you in all kinds of good things. So try to be solid in your goodness. Don't let other things chip away at it. And then the goodness that you create will then come back to you as a solid goodness that you can really enjoy, that really does make you happy and allows you to look after yourself with ease, now and on into the future. <laughs>